So we're here at uh, Optinvent. So who are you? I'm Optinvent. I'm the CEO of Optinvent. You're the founder? The, one of the co-founders, and that's the other co-founder, that handsome gentleman over there. He's the CTO, I'm the CEO. So uh, what are you showing here? You have uh... These are the Aura glasses, Aura. AR smart glasses. So what's going on here? Uh, so these are the most powerful and complete uh, smart glasses available today. In the whole world? In the whole world. Um, they have the flip view feature, so you can you have two positions for the display. One is the um, augmented reality position, and one is the glance position. We have a forward-facing 5 megapixel camera with autofocus. We have a dual-core processor um, with 4 gigabytes of memory. Like the OMAP 4, right? Yes, correct. Um, we have a very large trackpad. We have a 9-axis position sensor, so gyro compass accelerometer. We have Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and GPS connectivity. We have an ambient light sensor, a proximity sensor, microphone, sound, its own battery, and it runs apps as a standalone device. So, uh, Optinvent, have you launched any products yet, or are you launching soon? We're going to be launching, uh, so this is a developer platform is that's this the currently first on pre-order, and this will be launching in May. And this is the, the first product that uh, we have, uh, we have uh, made you based on our patented uh, display technology. Uh, could you try to uh, wear it? Sure. I don't so, know if white's my color, but... So is it possible to, to use uh, what's called a prescription, pr prescription glasses? Um, it's possible to put a prescription clip, but you cannot just put these over your prescription glasses right now. All right. So what's the price? Uh, the pre-order price is 700 euros um, for the uh, hardware platform plus SDK plus support. So uh, can we try to take it off and uh, let me try to film the screen, the display? Oh, you, can, you can't film I can't. the screen, no. So, uh, but it, it does work and there it is. What's, what's the... You can't, the it's just the your camera that you that's, uh, that's not going to be compatible. How, how does it work with the prism? Or, uh, um, the so there? that's, it's, it's a retinal projector. So it it's basically projects light onto your retina. Yes, it's a it's a projector. It's a projection technology. So it's not what's it called? Uh, it's not in the same way as the Google Glass, or it is. Um, it is similar, but uh, we're using a, a completely different technology, which allows us to have a display that's three times larger than Google Glass in terms of surface area, uh, twice as bright, and much more energy efficient. Um, and it's made by molded plastic elements, so it can scale you know, very very nicely. And uh, these uh, plastic elements don't interfere too much with your vision? No, it's complete, completely see-through. And here again, we have an advantage versus Google Glass because uh, it's, it's a true see-through system, allowing, allowing for augmented reality, whereas Google Glass has a small um, display that's up in your right-hand corner, which is great as a secondary or, let's say, companion display. Uh, however, you can't do augmented reality with it because uh, the see-through is not that great with Google Glass. So what's your software? What's going on here? Is it Android? It's Android. Android 4.2.2. Uh, 4.2.2. 4.2.2. And what's the UI? What's the... You have the mouse kind so of the, pad there's here. A, Yeah, there's a mouse, uh, like a trackpad here. We have the possibility of voice. We have the possibility of gesture recognition. Again, we don't develop all those layers. Uh, but we enable that by bringing together this you know, very complete platform. Um, the UI currently is just a stock Android. And are you based where? We're based in uh, France, in Rennes, and in the Silicon Valley in the USA. And uh, you, you, this is going to be huge, right? We hope so. Are you doing Kickstarter or something like that? Or? Um, we are thinking about doing a crowdfunding campaign, yeah. 